Hey guys, today I want to talk a little bit about thinking about adoption. Now, my husband and I have one biological son. He is 16 now and at the time he was probably about two and we'd started to try and fall pregnant again. It couldn't happen um, and it was getting very frustrating because we were getting older and we were very aware of the cutoff ages for adoption, whether it be within Australia or we looked um, into countries. So we looked at other countries to adopt as well. Now we couldn't fall in the end, so we kind of looked at the fostering system, but that wasn't really going to suit us because we wanted to do a straight out adoption because we just felt that we couldn't sort of hand that baby or that child back to a family. Now we decided to go for an older child because we already had a child who, um, he was sort of keeping us very busy at the time. So we were fairly lucky, I guess, that we were kind of distracted. But for anyone out there that's considering adoption, you know, it, it is certainly a big process and it can be a little bit daunting to actually face. But look, once we got into it, it, it actually sort of went in, in a pretty smooth way. It's sort of stretched out over the time that it gives you time to kind of get your head around it as well. Now, we managed to learn the language. Um, we actually ended up going for a little um, girl from Thailand and we got allocated a girl after about four years. We did do some seminars in Sydney, older children seminars on how to manage them. They talk a lot about um, children that are adopted having special needs and I do believe that is correct because just now she's turning 10 and we are sort of hitting that um, where she's kind of feeling that void within herself about her family not being around and that's got to be really hard to deal with so we're trying to guide and help her with that. I'm very fortunate here I where I live there's a lot of Thai people around into a, um, my daughter's life rather and so she we sort of keep the language going and her culture as well so that's been a real blessing for us but if you are thinking of adopting look I'd definitely go for it um, just look into the cutoff ages to make sure that you are um, still eligible um, I think it was like 50 45 was the cutoff for our intercountry, but that was quite a while ago. So just sort of search that up. But it was definitely a process worth pursuing. We had to do a lot of paperwork. We had to have obviously our police checks. It is quite a process, but it happens over a certain period of time. It took us four years. I know for some people it can take longer. It can take up to six, but don't be deterred sort of by that because you know, it, it, it is a process and I guess it's best to um, nut things out properly and make sure that child's going to a really good sort of environment and a good home. You know, we were very lucky. We did get knocked back in Thailand. We actually um, did have to respond to that. We um, got our psychologist and, and things to write letters on behalf of us and then we presented that again and then we were sort of brought to the top of the pile. So we were very lucky that um, we got re-accepted and then we sort of got rushed through. So I think the average is about six years, but don't get deterred. You know, adoption is certainly well worth it. We love our daughter. She's certainly very different. She's come with, compared to our own biological son, um, they're two very different personalities and, and you can really sort of see that her not having that support for her first two years has really... Um, made her like push people away so we've always got to work really hard at getting into her space so look they're just a few tips that might help you if you are looking into adoption it is a process but don't be deterred by that it's all well worth it in the end and you know sometimes it takes that time for you to actually get your head around it too and learn the language and understand the culture and you know you can always go for trips over there and get to know especially if you pick a country and you know where you're getting them from that's kind of a really good idea as well because it's beautiful to go there with language language and be able to communicate with the carers in the orphanages. So look, um, I might make a few more videos on adoption because it's been such a big part of our life for the last eight years and um, hit the like button below if you've enjoyed this video and any information has been helpful to you. I'd love you to make some comments on any other um, things you'd like to talk about and yeah, just let me know and I'll see you very soon. Bye.